Question three is about arcs and chords. It's from the module 5.3. Here we have to find the x value. Remember, whenever the chords are equal, see this chord is equal to this chord, isn't it? Then whatever the angle formed here will be the same angle at the other side. If this is x, this is also x. If this was 70, this is also 70. So they are, they cut the, the circle such that the angles are equal. Now we need to find x. We know the total circle is 360 degrees, right? But that is equal to what? If this is x, this is also x. We have x plus x plus 64 degrees. Just solve this up, you'll get the answer. And since it's the electronic part, I'll just use the calculator directly here. All you have to plug in is 360 equals, that is alpha and calc, is equal to x alpha and closing this bracket, that'll give you x plus x. You can write 2x as well, but anyways, I'm just writing this as it is. 64, shift and solve equal to, the answer is 148. x value is 148. Here we need to find x. But if you look closely, look at this. It's at the center. It's a vertex is at the center of B and E, right? This chord, this angle. So this angle is literally the same whatever it is over here. So that yeah, this part of the circle, imagine that is 70 degrees. This is going to be also 70 degrees. But now what do we know here? These chords are equal and this arc formed is 116. So this D arc is also 116 degrees. Now, if that is 116, what about this? It's 116. So, x value is 116. You don't need to solve anything here. What about this one here? Now, this is 4. And this is also 4 equal to each other. So, whatever this arc is there, it should be the same. So, it's x is 62 degrees. It'll be the same. Now, here we have these two are same. So, if this is x and this is also x, and this is 90. So what is remaining? Uh, what is the equation to write? We can write x plus x plus 90 is equal to 360 degrees or 360 is equal to this thing. So we'll use a calculator and solve this up. I'm just going to edit this. It's 360 is equal to x plus x instead of 64 in the previous problem. We have 90 here. Don't press equal to its math a syntax error because you have equation equal to right. You need to press shift solve for x. And then equal to the answer is 135. That's the answer. And here we have, okay, equations. They are told to find the value of x. And they have told this arc and this arc is equal. If these both arcs are equal, then these chords are chords form. The chords which cut the arcs are also equal. So here, what we can write is 2x plus 4 that is equal to 18. Now solve this up in the calculator directly or so you can solve it. That will be the answer. It's going to be 7, but let me use the calculator and show you. All you need to write is 2 alpha x plus 4. That is equal to 18 shift and solve. Shift and solve. And then equal to your answer is 7. Now what else we have here? Again, this arc and this arc is same. So what happens with these two chords? They are equal. It's 2x plus 1 is equal to 5x minus 5. You can use the calculator, but I'm going to solve it manually here. The bigger value of x is 5, so I leave that over there. The uh, numbers at one side, 1 plus 5, and the smaller 2x to the other side. It will be 5x minus 2x. It will be 6 is equal to 3x. x value is 2. That is what we have to solve. x is 2 here. Now the next problem here, uh, yeah, you can see this two chords are equal. They have given the arcs angle to be 2x plus 4 and 3x plus 2, but the chords are equal. So then these arcs must be equal. So let's just solve them up. We'll equate them. 2x plus 4 must be equal to 3x plus 2. Let's rewrite them. 3x is bigger, so I'll leave 3x here. Minus 2x and 2 goes to the other side. It'll be 4 minus 2. So it'll be 2 is equal to x, basically. That's the answer. x is 2. And that's it. We have to just find the value of x. Now, what did we, did we do wrong here? The answer is 1. Let's just look carefully. Uh, this is correct. This should be wrong then. Uh, yeah, see, the question is 3x plus 2, not 3. So 
the solution set, my apologies, is error. But if you do 3x plus 3, then yes, it's going to be 1. They have told the circle M is congruent to circle P. And they have also told this arc. Can you see this arc is equal to this arc? So therefore, these chords are equal. It is 2x plus 24 equals 6x. So 24 is equal to 2x to so the other side will be 2 minus 2x. It's going to be 24 is equal to 4x. That's 6 is equal to x. You can just use the calculator and put this equation directly in the calculator. You will get the answer 6. So that's the answer here. Because these both are equal, the arcs are same. So the chords must be equal. Now here, if you view carefully, they have told this chord and this chord, they look equal, but they have not given the angles. But they have told the circles are congruent, but still we need this arc to be equal to each other, right? So the total is 360. If this is 198, what is the remaining? From 200 to 360, it's 160 and 2 to 200, so it's 162 degrees. Yes, this is equal. Or oh, if you do 360 minus 162, it will be 198 degrees. So these arcs are also equal, so the chords must be equal. 9x minus 78 will be equal to 3x. Let's solve it up. 9x minus 3x is equal to 78. It's 6x is equal to 78, 63, 13x is 13. And that will be the answer. You can just use the calculator and get the answer from the first step itself. But otherwise, x is 13. Now look at this problem here. They have told, it's in a single circle, you can see this is the center and there are two chords but they're equidistant, you can see they're 6, 6 and it's 90 degrees, they're equidistant to each other. So therefore the chords will be equal to each other, you do not need to remember all the theorems because it's not writing exam or anything, just remember when these two are equal, the chords also equal, they are equidistant from the center, therefore the chords will be equal and what is TS, TS is 21, that is equal to UV is 3X. So divide both the sides by 3, it'll be 7 is equal to x. That's the answer. So it's a very simple one. And here we have the last problem. Here they have told in this particular circle, I think so G, GQ and G must be equal. No, they have told CD. See, look at this. This chord is equal to CB. If these two chords are equal, then of course this will be equidistant. So what is GQ and EQ? They are equal to each other. But they have told their values as well. It will be X plus 5. That is equal to 3X minus 6. So you will take minus 6 to the other side. It will be 5 plus 6. 3X minus X. We have 2X and over here we have 11. Divide both the sides by 2. It will be 5.5 is equal to X. They just wanted the value of X. Not any other thing. So that's the answer. But imagine they had told you to find GQ. Then whatever X value you find, put it back in this equation. It'll be 5.5 plus 5. So it'll be 10.5. Just uh, remember what they have asked in the question. If they have asked only the X value, this is it. Nothing else. But if they ask you EQ or something else, then you ought to put this particular thing back into the equation and then uh, simplify it. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.